Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we will be completing the quest, the client of Corinth. The quest requirement is X marks the spot, and there are no skill requirements. Items needed, simply one feather. This can easily be bought for 2GP from the fishing shop here in Port Serum, where the quest start is. For the recommended items, bring some weight reducing clothing and no weapons or anything heavy because we don't need to fight anything during this quest and between one and three stamina potions should be enough depending on how many teleports you have already unlocked on great current during the quest we will also be passing a fairy ring that can be unlocked by paying an npc 80,000 gp so if you have that money laying around then i would also suggest you to bring that and also, I would suggest you to bring along a Terran Potion Unfinished with a Limp Recruit if you have at least 12 Herb Lore, so you can complete a easy Diary Step during this quest. For the teleports, none are necessary, but it would be helpful is one teleportation method to Winter Tot via the game's necklace, or you could simply just walk to the Dark Altar. Then after having arrived at the Dark Altar, we will need to make our way back to Porpoise Corellius. You could simply walk all the way back or bring a teleport to Port Serum and take the boat to Port Piscrelius. And then also one teleport away after the quest is completed. So where to start this quest is here in Port Serum on the most northern pier. Let's talk to Vias if you haven't been on Current yet. And select the option to tell more about Great Current. After you selected that option, you will be able to travel to Port Piscrelius. Let's travel there. Cross the gangplank and there we'll find Vias where we can start our quest. Let's talk to him and select option 4 and then 1. Do you have any quests for me? And then yes. Next. Skip through the dialogue and then head west. And then take the pier just north. Keep going north until you see the general store of Porpoise Corellius. And on the way there, let's use a feather on the enchanted scroll to make an enchanted quill. Here in the general store of Porpoise Corellius, let's talk to Leans and select option 3 twice to make her tell what you can do here in Porpoise Corellius. Afterwards, let's go southwest and exit Porpoise Corellius. Let's go to the King's Road and follow it westward. Keep going south, south of the pier, until the King's Road goes west. And then follow that one until we see a fishing pond. At the fishing pond, we will need to go north and there we'll find the next general store. If you favor import Piscrelius, then you will be able to steal artifacts for some good thieving experience as well as be able to catch anglerfish that heals depending on your HP level. As well, that fish also heals over your max HP. Next, enter the general store of Arceus and select option 4 and then 3. And by the mention of the Dark Altar, you will hurt your hand. Next, let's run northwest and bring a Savannah Potion along the way. Keep going northwest and follow the path westward from the Magic Shop. Keep following the path westward until we've made it to Lovakench. If you gain favor in the Arceus house, you will be able to fetch library books for some good runecrafting experience, being able to reanimate and stall heads for good prayer experience, and be able to craft blood and soul runes. Keep following the path until we see a pub. The entrance to the pub is on the western side. 
enter the pub and stand inside and then use your limpet root on the Terraman potion unfinished to create a strength potion inside of the pub which is an easy diary task. Once you've made your strength potion, if you have 12 herblo, let's exit and enter the general store just next to it. Let's talk to Munty and select option 4 and then 3. Let's talk about Lovakench. Next, let's continue running west and keep going west until you see the quest start of the Forsaken Tower, which is the Lovakench quest. Once we've passed that building, we'll be able to see a giant wooden battlement. We will need to cross that one going south. Here's a Forsaken Tower quest start. Go onto the battlement and run south. If you would get favored in the Lovakench house, you'll be able to make dynamite and use dynamite in Blast Mine for some good money and decent mining experience as well as be able to use the minecart transportation system around Great Current. Keep running south until you see the transportation sign of the fairing DJR. From there, go east and enter the Shajan encampment. Pass in the bank and go around it, go past it and then go south until you see the favor sign of the gang members. From there, go east if you want to complete an extra easy achievement diary task. Keep going east and pass Nurse Boo Boo and there you'll find a med pack. Take from it and then use this on a wounded soldier in a tent just next to you and that will be another easy task completed. Once we've done that, let's go straight back west to the favor sign of the organized crime and from there follow the path south. Keep going south to the town of Shazian. And there at the square, let's go east until you see the general store. Go inside and let's talk to Jennifer. Select option three twice. You write that down. Afterwards, follow the path southeast, passing the tail of the righteous quest start. And after you've passed the pub, go north pass it again and follow the path north until it goes east and then follow the path eastward to the final house Asidius. If you were to get favor in the Shazian house you'll be able to unlock a level 5 as well as a level 48 agility course, ability to kill lizardmen which drop a talisman that can teleport you around great current as well as tackling organized crime for some good combat experience and good loot. Keep going east, following the path east, until you've made it to the market town of Hasidius. The general store is the southeastern building of the market. Enter it, let's talk to Horace and select option 3 twice. After we've written that down, let's go north and make our way straight up north back to Porpis Quirilius to make our way back to Vias. If you were to get favor in the Hosidius house, there are a bunch of benefits. 
you will be able to steal from fruit stalls, which provide 40,000 experience at just require level 25 thieving. You will get a disease free herb patch, ability to grow grapes of Zamorak to make wines of Zamorak, access to the woodcutting guild, access to tight farm for the farmer's outfit and the seed box, as well as access to the mess hall, which can get you up to 200,000 cooking experience per hour. Here back at Vias, let's talk to him, select option 4, about your quest, and he will take the note that you've written what you can do in the houses. Next, he will give you a mysterious orb. We will need to activate this near the Dark Altar. So if you have the game's necklace, rub it and go to the Winterdot camp, and from there, run south. And follow the icy path going south. To make our way to our chaos. If you do not have access to the game's necklace yet, then you could follow the king's road back to our chaos, and from our chaos run straight north through the library until you've made it north of our chaos. North of our cast, north of the library, there will be a dead mushroom ring, as well as an NPC called Trossa. Let's talk to Trossa. If you've brought your 80,000 GP, select option 2 and then 1 to unlock this fairy ring permanently, which is the code CIS. If you don't have it, that doesn't matter. Let's follow the path east to the dark altar. Keep going east until you see the Dark Altar. This is marked on the minimap with a favor icon. Once you're somewhere close to it, activate the Mysterious Orb and then make our way to Vias. You could either run all the way back south or make your way to Port Serum. You may drop the Broken Glass. Let's take the boat to Port Piscrelius because the Vias in Port Serum will not be able to complete your quest. Let's talk to Vias, select option 4 about your client, and Vias will be taken over by his client. And the client will thank you through Vias and will give you a reward of 1 quest point, 2 antique lamps, which will grant you 500 experience in any skill of your liking as well as the Carrot's Memoirs, which can teleport you to the center of all the five houses of Great Current after you've completed their respective novice quest. And then lastly, one Current Favor Certificate, which will grant you 20% favor in any house of your choosing. I highly recommend you to take Piscarillius, as getting from 1 to 20% favor manually in Port Piscarillius is rather slow and expensive. So here in the quest tab you can now also go to your favor tab and you will see that you have now 20% Piscrelius favor and at 20% Piscrelius favor you have now unlocked the depths of despair quest which also requires you to kill absolutely no NPCs so why not complete that right now. Okay thanks bye.